and these are the treasures that came out. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of yesterday's video. So I had a vlog and oh my gosh, and I did shipping and I did friend mail. So it was quite, quite long. So yesterday's video, and I will link it down below, was basically a tour of my Halloween decorations, both at home and here at the shop. That video is linked down in the description down below. So I hope that you'll go back and watch part one. Today's video is going to be a little bit of shipping with me and some friend mail opening and some whatnot purchases and that sort of thing. So I hope that you enjoy today's video as well. And thank you guys so much for following along with me and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I think this works a little bit better, this angle at least, so you can at least see what I'm doing. Let's aim that down a little bit. All right, so we are going to do the tuck and roll where I have the, the owl. I'm gonna wrap it. I think I have three sheets of bubble wrap. Grab a sheet of orange tissue paper for the season. And again, you don't have to use tissue paper. I like to zhuzh up my packages. Um, it makes shipping much more bearable for me. Does it take a little bit more time and a little bit more money? Yes, it does. But it's something that I enjoy to do. And I think that my customers appreciate it as well. It's like they're getting themselves a little present. And I got some tool and everything I get, I order on in bulk from Amazon or wherever I can find it the cheapest. I bought uh, bubble wrap or I bought tissue paper at Dollar Tree before. Okay, I've got, I'm gonna stick in, I've got these Hocus Pocus stickers, but the, the most important thing that you can put in your packages is your business card. I did have to mark out in marker because they're expensive and I'm not buying them. I'm gonna use what I got, but because I'm no longer having YouTube sales on Wednesday. So I did mark that out. And then a little advertisement for Vintage Rescue Squad on the back. That way, you know, people can find out where they can find where they can find you. Ooh, let's give Lois some some eyeballs. She might like those. I'll set that aside and now let's do the mug. And then I have a 10 by eight by six box filled with paper, a couple sheets of paper. I'm gonna lay, let's pull this up there. I'm gonna lay the mug in there like that. And the owl in there like that. Then we're gonna add some more paper. I'm gonna add some more paper on the top. Kind of push in those sides. So the item isn't touching the side of the box. That does help provide some cush cushioning for it. Tuck that in on the sides there. Kind of all the way around. And then piece on top. Okay, close it up. This fun tape you can get from realniftyvintage.com. Jeffrey does sell tape. I'm getting ready to break out. I got one roll of the Halloween tape left. I'm almost done with this one, so I'll be breaking out the Halloween. All right, and then we're going to weigh this. And this is a 10 by 6 by 4 box. And I do write, because when I'm doing my invoicing, it helps me remember this is Lois's box. So, and it weighs 4 pounds and four ounces. I've got that ready. I'm gonna go over to Pirate Ship and send our send Lois her invoice. All right, the next item I'm going to ship is this fun Halloween cape. Ooh, this is going to Shanna. Now, I do have some of these uh, bags that certain things like this I will tuck inside just to protect them from any kind of weather or moisture. Um, so just to add a little bit of protection. And then Shanna also got this little Rossboro witch. So we're going to get these two things packed up now. Moving the camera down. 
These bags, uh, you could just use Walmart bags. I just, I, I use those a lot. I'm actually running low on those. But these I did get, um, they're just suffocation warning bags. They're basically a clothing bag. A lot of clothing resellers will use them. And it just helps protect the item a little bit. And it makes it look a little bit more, I want to say professional, I guess. I'm squeezing the air out of it. All right, so that we have that protected in there. And I'm probably going to hold this down again. Oh, maybe not. Because I am using a recycled box here. Now, the Ross Bro, she does have a little crack right there. So I'm going to use some of my, um, my scrap paper. I'm going to use some of my scrap paper to fill in that void. So it kind of gives it some integrity so it doesn't get, you don't want to, you don't want to do it too much because you don't want to make the splitting even worse, but it just kind of fills that in to give it a little bit more integrity so it doesn't get any more damage. I'm actually going to use some more of the scrap bubble wrap that I have too. So we're going to lay the little witch in there. Roll her up little bit of tape on her. And I usually just fold the ends under like that and put some tape on it. It gives it a little bit more padding on the ends there. Take our tissue paper and roll it in there. I am not the best wrapper. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I, it's not the, it's not the, like, I wouldn't win, win any awards for my, uh, gift wrap abilities, but it does make a nice little thing when your buyer opens up their box and they bought themselves a little gift. We've got a business card. We'll give Shanna some Sanderson stuff. Ooh, let's give Shanna a spider. Spooky. Oh, purchase from Dollar Tree. You need a lot from Dollar Tree. All right, so we're going to put one piece of paper in this box. We're going to put in the Halloween cake. We're going to lay in here. Let's pull this up. We're going to lay in that other the little Rossboro witch. piece of paper on top, close it up. Make sure you push down on the tape so the tape completely seals. And then we'll write Shannon's, no, this is Shanna. And this box is an eight by six by six. And it weighs 10 ounces. All right, we're going to get on pirate ship and send Shanna her invoice. The last thing that we are going to ship together is the ceramic ghost. This was purchased by Tina. Thank you, Tina. I love him. I actually bought him for myself, but I, 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 as you saw, I have plenty. I don't need any more, but he has a light bulb. So I am going to unscrew the light bulb and I'll put, I'll wrap that individually. But you know, he's got a big hole in his body. So we're going to fill his void full of paper. So in that hole there, we're just going to put some paper in the bottom there, like that. And then the cord, we are just, I'm going to go ahead and cut a little piece of tool, but we are just going to take the cord, it has a pretty long cord, and we're just going to kind of gather it together like this. And then I typically either put a rubber band around it or some sort of string just to, to tie it. I don't necessarily like to wrap it around the item when I'm shipping it because I'm afraid that it's going to just cause more damage. What we're going to do is we're going to put it kind of inside there. Now I will make sure that this isn't, that this part isn't flopping up against that. So we will put a little piece of scrap bubble wrap just around this 
little guy here so he's not rubbing up against the ghost causing any potential damage during shipping so we'll do that there and then he's ready to go we're just going to tuck and roll him so we're going to get out some probably some big big boy big boy american bubble bat bubble boy big bubbles it started with that Oh, let me set this aside. I'm afraid I'm going to forget it, so. Don't let me for, guys, don't let me forget the bulb. We're kind of all over the place today because of my tripod issue. So, if you don't comment that I'm all over the place because I already know that. I already know. It's already, it's already made abundantly clear to me. I'm going to go ahead and get this little guy wrapped up and... It's going to cut this piece of bubble wrap in half, wrap up the little light. We're going to go down. We're going to go on a ride again, guys. Wrap up the little light. And then we're going to, we're going to put it in these little, these little snack size baggies that you can get at Walmart are great. Because little things like this, whether this be just something itty bitty and small, you don't want your customer to forget that it's in there. So I will put it in something that it won't get, it hopefully won't get lost in the box, like tying a ribbon around it or even just attaching it to with tape or with tool or something to the, the item itself. You could even write on here, light bulb, let's do that. Let's write with a Sharpie on here that this is the bulb. All right, bulb. I'm laying him down flat. I might use... Someone had sent me something wrapped up in these little puppy pads, which is kind of a brilliant thing to use. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and do a little preliminary wrapping of him. I'm going to tuck in everything using the puppy pad. All right, and then we are going to just tuck and roll. Again, if you don't have a big space, counter space like I do here at the shop, on your dining room table. I did this for years. See, I'm getting all caught up in everything. That's why it's important to have a clear space. I did this at home on my dining room table for many years. So let's. And then I'm gonna use this, these other couple sheets here for the sides. So I'm gonna use that for the side there. Be very minimal on your tape. You don't have to like wrap this in tape over and over and over again because you might have a lot of customers that opening their packages is very difficult for them. And so if you have, a, it's difficult for me. If you have miles and miles of tape on your package, you are using a lot of materials that you could be using for other things. And you know, it's hard for your customers sometimes to open up all that tape. So I'm going to give Tina a, I have these reproduction Halloween cards. So I'm going to put that on top as a topper. And then my business card. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that bulb. Like that. So I'm going to get a 12 by 12 by 8 box, which you can get free from USPS.com. And we're going to go ahead and get this in the box. All right. He is in there nice and snug. I'm going to take some paper and put it around the sides of the box. And on the end to make him a little nest. Another nice one on top, and then we're going to close up the box. We'll give them away, and then we will, we're going to write Tina's name, and this is a 12 by 12 by 8 box, and again, you can get these boxes 12 by 12 by 8, it's the large, where are you at, where are you at, there you are, the large mailing box. 
on usps.com for free. Okay, just finished shipping all of these items and I'm gonna put the labels on and then we're gonna open up some boxes. All right, guys, I have, well, a lot of boxes here. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get through all of them, um, but some of them are whatnot sale or purchases from the extravaganza that I have purchased from other sellers. Some of them may be um, friend mail, I'm not quite sure. Let's open up this first one. This first one. Oh, I think I know. I think this one is a whatnot sale. A whatnot sale. Or whatnot purchase, I guess I should say. So, okay, so you know, look, it's a little cupy. But, yeah, this is a new one. It's a new, it's a, I think it's a Nesco, so it is a more modern one. But, you guys, look. It is a little doodle dog. Not only, it's a Christmas doodle dog. <gasps> Look at him. He's got little antlers. There's his little cutie wings. So that was so cute. So that's going home with me and it's gonna go on my shelf with my other cupies. I have three doodle dogs now. They're hard to find. Now the antique ones, a couple hundred dollars at least. So that is a fine, um, I don't want to say replacement, but a fine replacement for that. All right, let's see. What's this? This is, okay, don't know if I bought this or it, it or I mean, I don't know if I bought this on whatnot or if it is a friend mail. So we're going to open it up and see. Okay, so I think that this is a whatnot purchase. Oh, that's cute. They've got like a little bag a popcorn bag i will reuse that too and they put like this little these little things inside oh cute so this is a whatnot purchase from the extravaganza oh and they sent a bunch of like little oh yeah be kind rewind bunch of little um little cards and stuff that i can i can just reuse in my own packages frozen tomato frappe yeah. so I did get and I, I can't remember if this was buyer's choice it was a buyer's choice sale or not I don't remember but I did get some pillowcases some vintage pillowcases very soft love vintage pillowcases I don't know if I'm going to keep these or resell them I may re I may keep them because I like some vintage not table. Well, I like vintage tablecloths, but I like vintage uh, pillowcases. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at that little marble mushroom. That's adorable. Mm, very cute. What else? The nice thing about the buyer's choice, well, I mean, sometimes, I mean, you get to pick what you're buying, but you sometimes forget what you're, you know, if it's been a while, you forget what you bought. Ooh, yeah, this is, oh, I remember, okay, their sale was, she was, I think it might have been her first whatnot sale, Be Kind Rewind, I think she sells on Instagram, but it was very organized, and I really like that, that appeals to me, and everything is packaged really nice, so this great pink boomerang mug, look at this cool vintage stuff you can find on whatnot, too. Don't break it, Misty. Great packing materials that I will reuse. Probably I'll just put them back in this box. And then her husband, that was it. Her husband works for, I don't know if it's a publishing company, but they make reproductions of coloring books. Look at it. it is, whoa, where are you going, camera? I got this new thing on and it might, it's a little wonky. It's trying to find faces. This is my face. Are you trying to focus on? The space, Spaceman face? Maybe. But the Tom Corbett Space Cadet Coloring Book. Oh, wow. Acceleration, they say. That's just fun. I like it. And then this one. Oh, my gosh, it's Santa Claus. This is a bit. Look at, look at Santa on the back. Christmas Coloring Book. And it's just got these amazing... 
coloring pages. I don't know. I just had to have it. That was in there. Buy it now. So I got those. Let's do this little package here. I think that this one might be from someone one out in YouTube land because it is addressed to her royal height, her royal highness, Princess Misty Paint. So I'm gonna say that that's not a whatnot person that addressed it that way, but I like it. So this is from Jessica Wessler. Let's see what's inside. So this must be friend mail. Dear Misty, you're my favorite YouTuber. Ah, thanks, Jessica. Thanks for making awesome videos. I found these little Funko Boo Hollows, and I got an extra vampiress. She's so kitschy, retro, retro, and cute. Thought you might like her. Take care. Lots of love, Jessica and the pups, Harley, Jasper, and Gus. <gasps> oh, I do. I'm going to put her on my shelf in my bathroom. Which you guys saw this morning. Look at Vampires. Oh, focus over here, camera. Oh, look at her. And look at her hair. <gasps> She's fabulous. She's kitschy and fun. So, yes, I am going to put her up on the shelf in my bathroom. Oh, my gosh. Focus. I'm not quite sure if I like using this little device here. It's a Pivo. It's supposed to track me wherever I go, but it might be a little extra. Because I'm not even moving right now, except for my mouth. But I love her. Thank you, Jessica. She's going to go on my shelf in my bathroom. I appreciate that. Save the cards. I always save the cards. All right. Now let's do this package. Well, this is from Michelle Miles. Um, uh, this could be friend mail because it's not a shippo. I don't see a shippo label. That needs to be my clue because pirate ship or um, whatnot uses shippo as their shipping person. Ooh, look at this cool Halloween box. That's cool. I like that. This is from Michelle. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Misty. Just a quick note to let, it's all typed and so easy to read. Thank you. Just a quick note to let you know how much I love watching your videos. I love your quirky personality. That's great because some people hate it, but I'm glad that you like it, Michelle. I recently started making some Halloween themed earrings and thought some of them might be right up your alley. In addition to the Halloween earrings, I decided to make some specifically designed for you with some of your favorite things on them. I hope you enjoy them. Totally off topic, I remember you saying in one episode that your dad graduated from Camelback High School in Phoenix. Yes, he did. My dad also graduated from there, and they are probably close to the same age. My dad graduated in 1967. I'm going to have to ask him what year he graduated, but Michelle, I will let you know. But oh my goodness, look at these cards. Boo. Boo. Oh my gosh, I love these, Michelle. Wait, we gotta, we have to look at all of the designs. I'm gonna open them up. So I love that you people can do these kinds of things. It's like so simple, but I, mine will be all crooked. But look at that little blank card that says boo, and she's included little envelopes. And there we have happy haunting. These remind me of something like Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. would do. She does all kinds of crappy stuff. This one says, Double trouble, toil, and trouble. Double, double toil and trouble. And then we have Happy Halloween, the spider. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. October 31st. You know, come over here, camera. A little bit further. A little bit further. Here. Can you stay there? Be good. It's like Mr. Webb's taking control of the camera. Ooh, this one's got a poofy skull. Those are really cool, and I will use those. My goodness, look at these earrings. Okay, I got these. These are little polymer clay earrings that I purchased from another local artisan. <gasps> oh, my. So this is crazy A-A-Z. Is that supposed to be crazy as? I don't know. Star Designs, look at them. They are cupy Halloween. There is crazy AZ th uh, sister designs. 
I love those. I love those. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna open these up because I gotta see these a little closer because they're really, really cool. Oh my gosh, and they're lightweight, which is so nice. Look at, it's like a little snow globe. Oh my gosh, camera. A little snow globe with spookiness. I love those. Oh my gosh, and here we have a little vintage uh, Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. Come over here. There. Wonder if I can just, hang on, let me see. There. We just took off the tracking. So I'm sorry if I made you a little sick. We took off the tracking. We're just doing it straight ahead. But um, there was also a setting on here for horse. I guess if you're riding a horse, I don't know. But Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein. Oh my gosh. Look at those. The little cupies there. Adorable. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Look at Look at all the faces in there of the little babies. And then there's a Frankenstein. Oh, I'm going to have, I'll be able to wear earrings. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Look at Lee Liberace in his USA garb. Oh my gosh. And then we have the Beastie Boys. It's the freaking Beastie Boys. Had a little horsey named Paul Revere. Just me and my horsey and a quart of beer. Riding across the land, kicking up sand. That's all I can do because I'll get copyright. <gasps> this is like Christmas. Look, it's the freaking Grand Hotel. Mackinac Island. I love these so much. So, okay. Michelle, her, it's here. I'll put it on the screen. Crazy AZ sister, no, sister designs. I hope that it's not coming up backwards. It might be. I'll put it on the screen. This is kind of a hot mess vlog. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to love probably hearing all the comments, but oh my God, oh my gosh. I'm going to take this little box home with me. And I, I cannot wait to wear these. Ah! I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Michelle. That, those are freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Okay, just making sure. Freaking amazing. I love that. And I, honestly, I'm gonna, I might go on and buy some more. Because I love those. And they're lightweight. And so I like that. I like that in an earring. All right, let's see. I am not going to be able to open all of these. I'm just going to try to... I'll do... I'll make... I'll look through and make sure that I'm at least doing the friend mail. Um, this one is a whatnot. What that buy? It sounds jingly, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it could just be something plastic jingly in here. Oh, this is from Jean Marie. Oh, I got some scoops. So Jean Marie's vintage. Um, she has whatnot sales. Vintage vibes for your modern home. That is a really cool card, Jean Marie. I really like that. So, you can find Jean Marie on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and they're in Iowa. Oh, I love this. So, and she does some scoops. So, I got some scoops during her whatnot sale. Oh, that's a pretty dusty rose. We're going to reuse that. So, I think I got, I got scoops. How, what scoops did I get? I got, I think I got two scoops. Two scoops. Oh, no. Well, it says the battery was dying, but that's okay because I think, I don't know, we're already at 16 minutes. This is crazy. Let me show you my scoops. This may have to be a part, a part two, but scoops. So, so they have these things where they scoop it, scoop out like little bits and bobs. Oh my gosh. Look inside there. Look inside there. And I'm just going to jump I'm just going to dump them in this box. Oh my gosh, I see one thing right off the bat. Look, it's Pokey. Pokey. I'm like, he's, he's going to go home with me. I like so I think I got a, two scoops and one scoop. And this was the one scoop. But I'm just going to dump it in. And then I'll hold it up so you can see. Make sure I got it all out. But it's just like a bunch of just like, almost like Cracker Jack type toys. It's just fun to see. 
Here is a pin of a rose. Oh, there's a little giraffe. Oh, here's dice that say play golf, walk the mall, set clock on VCR, check stocks, go fishing, take a nap. I like that one. Little dice. Oh, here we got a little keychain of an ice skate. It's just random things. Just a lot of fun. So thank you, Jean Marie's Vintage. That I'll look through that more later, but that's going to take too long for me to sit and sit through this whole time. Uh, okay. Is this ship? Okay, that's Shippo. I want to try to make sure I'm doing Fred Mill. That's Shippo. This is not Shippo. This is not. And it says friend mail from someone in Glen Allen, Virginia. So we're going to open up this. Let's see. Here's a card. Tape. Oh, look at the little whales. That's cute. So here we have, oh, this is from Alicia. And thank you for the phonetic spelling. Because there's like Alicia, Alicia. Uh, I always spell it wrong. Or say it wrong. I've been a YouTube subscriber since the beginning. Thank you. Bought from you too. Now it's time for a little gift. Feel free to keep what you like, sell, or use as giveaways. Alicia. Alicia that lives in Virginia. Okay, so let's see what Alicia has said. Ooh. Now, all kinds of packing materials that I will recycle and reuse. Oh, fu oh, I've got some squirrel people. Look at this fun ashtray. Look at the little squirrels up there. But be it's an ashtray. It has a little divots for your cigarettes, but you can use it to put your rings or your brooches, especially if you are a little squirrel lover, which there are a lot of. But it's a cool, fun shape. That's really neat, Alicia. I like that. They're like, please, sir, keep your rings in our dish. Use my scissors. Otherwise, I'll sit and fight this stuff for a while. Nobody wants to see that. Oh my gosh! I, you sent me Christ! That's a Psycho Ceramics! Oh my goodness! It, it's Christ. Psycho Ceramics there on the bottom. It's a little weirdo in his, well, it looks like a bathtub, but I think it's supposed to be like a big shirt. Look at the jeweled eyes. That's kind of a dead giveaway. A lot of times when you see these kind of weirdo figures with the jeweled eyes, you can look on the bottom. Oh my gosh, Alicia, he's going on my shelf with my others. They're so hard to find. Look at his little fluffy hair. Oh my word. Thank you so much. That's, that's so kind. All right, this is the last thing in Alicia's box. Oh, she's uh, she's a keeper as well. I have a weird, whatever this material, it's like a paper mache kind of material. A whole flock of angels that I put on my shelf at Christmas time. Is anybody else already stressing out about decorating for Christmas? I know we all like it and all, but dang. It's a lot of work. And I'm selling a lot of my stuff, but I'm not selling my angels because I do love them. All right. Alicia, thank you. That 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 was so kind. I I can't even. Things are falling down. My light just about fell down and everything. That was exciting. Thank you so much. So kind. All right, this is Shippo. That Shippo. Boy, I really did do a lot of whatnot shopping, didn't I? That Shippo. Are you Shippo? Your Shippo. What about these boxes? Oh, Shippo and Shippo. Well, you know, they're all the rest of them are. Oh, that box that fell, I'm going to have to go in and look. Well, let's open this. This is from Sonia. So she must be a whatnot seller. So we'll just open up a couple more. And then the rest of them, I'm going to probably open up on my own. And then I might just do like, I'll probably just come back in and do like a recap and just show everything. And I hope that at the beginning of these, this camera thing wasn't making anybody sick. I never try to make anybody sick in my videos, but I am very, I move around a lot. 
and um, you know, I'm doing it all by myself. I'm trying to film. I'm trying to see things. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay. I was like, did I? Yes, I did. All right. So this is from Bluegrass Treasure. Oh yeah. This was a pick a pail. So I picked this pail. Oh, and there's some stickers on the inside. You know, I need another one of these pails. Like I need a hole in my head. You saw all the ones I have over there, right? But this one's Empire. So I always do look for the Empire plastic ones that are the more vintage ones. So those are the ones that I tend to collect. But some great little stickers here, too. Ooh, this lady's got a gun. What is she saying? Go ahead. Make her day. Ooh. That was the... Oh, yes! And this one. Oh, my gosh. This is also Empire Plastic, and it's the little kitty. Meow, meow. Uh, oh, I wanted this one for a very long time. I have a reproduction one, and now I have the original. All this paper in here that I will reuse. I just stuck it in front of the thing. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So the rest of the boxes, I'm gonna go ahead and open off camera, and then because None of them are friend mills, all purchases, and then I'll set stuff out, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you what I bought. Okay, oh, I've done, unwrapped everything, and these are the treasures that came out. So I, I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Those little devil ones, I haven't decided I'm going to keep or sell. I have to do a little bit more research on those guys. Look at the little babies and the peppers and the puppers. These are Tilso cream and sugar. The little wiener dog. This little guy is dreamy. Hi, dreamy. But you get the salt out of his mouth, which is kind of weird. And we got the elephants and the cats and these little weirdos. Oh, my gosh. And the whales. Oh, I love them, love them, love them. This cute little salt and pepper shaker there. That might be a gift for somebody. This little cutie here and this um, canister here with the Lucite ball. So those are all the things. Oh, and the little, um, uh, I, I needed one of these because I can't see. And it has this really cool girl. And, oh, oh, she's done cut off his head. Well, that's fun. What else is on there? All right, well, there's the sword. Okay, well, that's interesting, but I needed one of these. And they're from the Franklin Mint. So, and they actually sent me two. So that was nice of them. Thank you so much, guys. And I'm gonna I'm sending this one to Michael. <laughs> so the Cult of Vinches is gonna get the other one. But yeah, so that this was a fun little thing. It took me a little while to unwrap everything. Um, but I love the little haul here and uh whatnot. You can, you know, look, this is an example of the fun things that you can find on whatnot. Okay, guys, so I think that the vlog is this vlog is quite long as they typically are, but I wanted to go ahead and show you my fall displays. We did a little bit of shipping. I opened up some friend mail and some packages from whatnot. Uh it was it's been a fun filled day. Um it's now Oh, about 1.30, and I need to go to the grocery store. So I'm going to clean up my mess here, go to the grocery store, have dinner, and then I have a live sale tonight at 8 o'clock. So, but stay tuned at the end of this video for a little a little uh, slideshow of the items that are going to be available during 4 Eyed Vintage this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern over on the Cult of Vintage. It's going to be myself, Sarah and David from Junk Drunk Man Cheeks and the Traveling Button. Um, so, and also Michael, the Cult of Vintage. So it's always a fun show. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the vlog with me. Sorry if the camera was a little wompy because I'm still trying to figure out that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <music>
Just so 